I was thinking about what made Dr. Silver so special to our family in particular. And he and his team are innovative and endlessly curious. And they are the most tenacious group of people that I have ever met. My name is Richard Silver, and I have the privilege and pleasure of being the medical director of CRNT, which we founded in 1968. What makes CRNT unique is the fact that we're agile, we're innovative, we're experienced. We have an outstanding medical board to advise us. This enables us to fund a unique, cutting-edge research idea in a very prompt fashion. We founded this organization 50 years ago because we thought it was very important to be able to support young investigators. The, the biggest accomplishment that, uh, that I'm happy with right now has been uh, that the number of people involved in research related to MPNs has grown exponentially. Well, CRNT's major achievements in research go back uh, quite a number of years, actually, when uh, Dr. Silva was the principal investigator in a drug called Gleevec, which was an absolute breakthrough with respect to a particular type of cancer, CML, chronic myeloid leukemia. And uh, it was a, a moonshot, as Dr. Silva likes to call it. It uh, really made a very difficult disease, essentially a chronic, very manageable disease. Now, um, it's almost if you get Hodgkin's disease, they pat you on the back and give you congratulations because, you know, it's, 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 it's a disease that's cured today. And I think partly because of the experimental protocol that I was on, I think it's still being used today in some forms um, to, uh, to treat people with Hodgkin's. I first became active with CRNT when Dr. Silver asked me if I would like to attend the uh, patient symposium that CRNT presents. Uh, I did that. I was impressed with the quality of the speakers, the quality of the program. Uh, he subsequently asked me if I would like to go on the board, and I said, yes, of course, I'd love to. The Silver MPN Center uh, has been, since its inception, a major recipient of funds from CRNT. We started our funding in 2011. The idea, and one that we're realizing now, is to create an integrated center which would deal with patients clinically, do clinical research, and also laboratory-based research related to the MPNs. My father was diagnosed with two MPNs. He was diagnosed with polycythemia vera in the mid-1980s and myelofibrosis in 1995. And at that point, there was no treatment at all for myelofibrosis. We were living in a small town in Ohio. They told us that he was gonna have three years maximum. A lot has changed since my father was diagnosed. Uh, polycythemia vera has a very effective treatment now, and myelofibrosis, which had no treatment when he was diagnosed, has a treatment. I actually recently found out that a friend's father has been living with myelofibrosis for the last five years and the diagnosis has had very little impact on his everyday life, which is a pretty incredible thing for someone who's been through it. Uh, we've been very fortunate because we've had um, some truly interesting and significant um, survivors um, who wanted to come forward and, and, and tell the world about their story. Some of those people included Harry Belafonte, John McCain, Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, Fran Drescher, otherwise known as the Nanny. They've all participated um, in our dinners over the years, which have been tremendous fundraising opportunities for us and have generated millions of dollars. So my father was diagnosed summer of 2016 with stage four metastatic lung cancer. After my father passed away, uh, I spent the next 24 hours writing his obituary. It was really very much a celebration of his life. The last line uh, of the obituary is, in lieu of flowers, please make donations in my father's name to Cancer Research and Treatment Fund. So metaphorically, at least to me, in a way, it feels like I'm picking up the fight against cancer where he left off.
My hope for the future of CRT and cancer research would be that I don't have a job here anymore. My hope for the future of CRNT and cancer research is really that they can be a lifeline to others as they have been for my dad. I'm grateful that my dad can be the husband, father, and grandfather that he wants to be. He really is able to participate fully in life um, and do everything that's important to him. And he actively plays with the grandkids who have endless energy. But don't suffer in silence. Um, you know, there's people that love you and there's a community of people in CRNT who, who have, have gone through very similar events and, and always, always would, would be happy to discuss it and provide advice or, or just listen. I think many of us feel that we should all uh, leave the world a better place than what we found it. I think there is no better place than medicine for this to occur. And you never get tired of hearing thanks from a grateful patient. To all of CRNT's friends, thank you. Thank you for advancing research. Thank you for helping us to beat cancer. Thank you for helping us save lives. Thank you. Together, we will conquer cancer.